Hello, it's Pat here from the website www.sophiaorbust.com That's Sophia or Bust, B-U-S-T, dot com It's a blog um, about 56 year old guy coming to Sofia in Bulgaria and just living here for a while and just seeing how things go. Um, so as well as the blog, I have, uh, I have a good few posts on there now so please go on and read it. But I want to do some very short videos as well. Um, the, the reason is I'm not going to do big long videos of walking around the street for like a half an hour and trying to make it a big Hollywood production. I ain't no Steven Spielberg, so keep that in mind. Just like short videos about areas of the city I find very interesting. Um, maybe one at a time rather than trying to get a lot of stuff in, you know. So, uh, so with that in mind, um, I'm having a look at the area where the communists ruled Bulgaria for about 45 years. Um, I find it a very interesting area. Um, it's actually I love the architecture here. So um, let let me uh, let me show you. If you look up there, that's actually Saint Sophia, the statue there. That used to be where Lenin was uh, until after the communists fell, they took it down and replaced it with the patron patron saint of the city. Uh, Sophia actually comes from the classical Greek, and it means wise. I suppose that if Britain can be great, why can't Sophia be wise? So um, maybe another day I'll cover that statue, but it's quite it's quite a landmark here in central Sophia. Now, if you look around here, this is the called the Largo. It's like three buildings, and it's actually um, I really like the architecture here. It's uh, it was actually built in 1955, so it's not that old. Um, because a lot of what a lot of people don't realize is that um, Bulgaria actually Sofia was bombed in 1943 and 94. Uh, sorry, 43 and 44 by the British and the Americans. And uh, so uh, Bulgaria actually was on the side of the Germans during the Second World War. I don't think they were that keen on it. I'm not sure they had much of a choice. But um, the, the Allies, the, as I said, the British and the Americans bombed it in 43 and 44. Some of the worst bombings came in 44, uh, when on two particular dates over 300 bombers hit the city. And uh, a lot, I, I think uh, as well as obviously the human casualties, there was over 12,000 buildings uh, destroyed and over 2,500 of them completely destroyed. And this was one of the areas. Interestingly enough, I don't think the Russians ever bombed here. Um, I suppose uh, they quite knew early on that you don't bomb what you're going to take over in a couple of years. So... This is where, I'm mean, like, if you look around there, it's quite, um, I actually find it very attractive. Uh, as I said, it's, it's not uh, very old. It's 19, for, oh, sorry, 1955. And if you look up there, if you can see the Bulgarian flag, there used to be a, a red Soviet star up there. And after communism, soon after communism collapsed, um, that was actually taken off by helicopter, and actually no one knows where the no one actually knows where that star is now, which is a shame because Sofia seems to be losing a lot of its communist history, or it's just been um, just like oh, seems to be disappearing. Um, so the Second World War couldn't have been an easier period for Bulgaria but actually a very interesting story is that um, Bulgaria actually refused to deport 50,000 Bulgarian Jews to uh, the concentration camps in Poland and uh, that didn't go down too well with the Germans uh, there was some plans to do it but word got out and a lot of Bulgarians actually protested they didn't want that stain in Bulgaria's history. So I'm um, like, there's a lot of credit for taking that stand. And the king actually had to go to uh, 
had to go to Germany and confront Hitler, and he again refused. And uh, he t- returned, and three days later, he died from a, a mysterious illness. Um, actually, one of, I think, the first communist leader in Bulgaria went to Moscow and had a bit of a row with Stalin, and he died quite quickly after returning as well. So maybe the key is not to, uh, if you're going to have a meeting with a dictator, bring them to your country where you can cook the food. So that may be... Um, that might be a good idea. So I really like this area, and there's lots of other areas like this, so um, hopefully I can bring them over over time, you know. So that's the video for today. And um, as I said, it's a funny day here today. It was very hot, but it's raining quite a lot today. It's July, and um, so that's just a quick video of the communist admin center it's actually been used now for uh, government uh, administration and i think the main building where you saw where uh, used to be the uh, the the soviet uh, soviet star that's going to be the parliament soon because the parliament building is quite small so i hope you're enjoying the blogs i hope you're enjoying this uh, the videos, uh, which I've just started really. As I said, I'm not Steven Spielberg, so uh, take it easy on me, please, with your comments. And um, please read my blog, uh, and you'll see a lot more stories. That's www.sophiaorbust.com. That's B U S T. Okay, take it easy. Bye. Slon.